The Alberta Railway Museum, located just north of Edmonton, Alberta. Opening in 1968, has one of Canada's largest collection of rolling stock. This includes NAR steam engine number 73, built in 1927, and of course, CNR's 1392 steam locomotive built in 1913. As you drive through the front gate, you are greeted by this old collection of rolling stock. Visiting the Alberta Railway Museum would not be complete without seeing these two beauties. These are an FP9 A and B unit, built in 1957. Today, the main reason we are here is to watch this Canadian National F3A unit, built in 1948, do some switching in the yard, moving some cars around. This 16-cylinder, 1500 horsepower unit is still running in great condition. Nine thousand is a signature locomotive because it's the very first EMD locomotive built for a Canadian railway. Logging more than 2.5 million miles during its time in service, spent most of its time in the Edmonton area. I am amazed at how roomy this cab is.
The first item of the day is to pick up these three cars, the crane, the passenger car, and this little switcher. Once the connection is made and the knuckles close, the pin drops locking them in place. The workers on the ground will then ask the engineer in the locomotive to do a test pulling forward to see if the connection is good. The object of this move is to get this 1956 crane onto the main line of the museum lot in order to do some repairs to it.
After lining the switch, the train begins its reverse movement on the main line. The railway station that the train is passing now was originally built in 1909 by the CNR as part of the Sangudo subdivision in St. Albert. The water tower in the background was moved from Gibbons, Alberta and was originally built in 1919 and was used to fill the water tanks of the steam locomotives.
The next move is to put this GE Tunner into the shop so that they can do some work on it.
Now they drop the flat car out with the string of cars near the entrance. And now they pick up the passenger car that they dropped on the main earlier. Here we have a semaphore signal. These signals were the earliest form of signals that the railway used. By changing the angle of the arm, the signal would indicate whether the track was clear or occupied ahead, and whether a train had to stop or could continue to move on. The trackside crew will call out commands to the locomotive engineer, giving the distance that the train is from the knuckle. The ground crew needs to climb on the rail cars that they just coupled to. And in order to do so, they ask for a three-point protection. What is that, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. The throttle is put to zero, the air brakes are applied, and the generator is disconnected from the traction motors, so the locomotive cannot move. This is a 1963 GP30 built for the Canadian Pacific Railway and spent most of its time on Vancouver Island. Unfortunately, it is in very poor condition.
Now moving into position to move this cylindrical grain hopper to a different location along with the locomotive that is behind it that you will see in a moment. This 1959 GMD-1, built for the Northern Alberta Railway, was numbered 302 when it went into service in 1960. It is named after Chief Moose Tooth, the first nation's chief who signed Treaty 8, the last treaty signed with the First Nations in Alberta in 1981. The Alberta Railway Museum offers walking tours throughout their site. Take a speeder for a ride or go for a ride on a train. They also have facilities for weddings and other events. Check out their website for full details.
I want to thank the Alberta Railway Museum staff for allowing me to attend this special event and for allowing me to film.